Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with a full perfume collection video. Um, sorry about my voice, okay? I've been trying to film this video for the past two weeks, but honestly, I've been waiting for parcels and then I got the cold and now I have this voice, but I just have to do it. So here we have my entire collection. We're obviously going to go through every single shelf and um, yeah, I actually have maybe like eight ten more fragrances that i'm waiting for but honestly i just want to do this video so i'm gonna feature those those fragrances in another video and right now we're gonna just go through everything that's in here because it's a lot i actually counted them and i think i have over 320 which is insane but yeah so now let's start we're gonna start with the top shelves where i have obviously all of my designers all right, let's start with everything that's in here. I actually, I'm on a chair because I cannot reach this top shelf, but hey, it's all right. We have um, Salvatore Ferragamo. I really like this brand. We have Amo Ferragamo and then Amo Ferragamo Flowerful. And then I have Signorina Ribelle and Signorina Eleganza. In the back, we have, what is this one? Dolce Garden from Dolce & Cabana. A limited edition uh, light blue. I have like three backup bottles. This one is Escape to Panarea. Absolutely love this one. Impossible to find, but yeah, it's it's beautiful. And then we have just the oh okay. Let's not do that. Um, just the intense light blue. Girl of now. This one it's forever. In there we have my baby, my fourth bottle of Girl of Now, just the original. And then we have Le Parfum, Le Parfum Royal, and then Le Parfum Something Resort Collection, again limited edition. And then I have in here this Azaro, this is Wanted Tonic, such a nice fruity kiwi fragrance for the summertime. And then the last one on this shelf... We have Valentina Pink from Valentino. Is this continued? Such a beautiful rose fragrance. Why did this continue that? I don't know. Let's move on. In here we have Burberry, her, just the original, the Intense, which I believe is discontinued as well, the Elixir, and then Brit. And then I have Olympia Intense from Paco Rabanne. we have Olympia Aqua Leger, and the newest one, and definitely my favorite one, Olympia Solar. I think it's called Solar. Yeah, I really, really, really like this one. Now, let's move on. We have Kenzo Flower Elixir. This one is discontinued. Why? Don't ask me. It's beautiful, but it's discontinued. And then we have Kenzo World Power. This is such a nice unisex fragrance. I hate the bottle, but honestly, it's this like salty vanilla, but not as sweet as Olympia. I really like this one. And then here we have Armani, my code satin, which is almost like gone, but I have a backup bottle. This one is discontinued. Probably the best perfume from Armani, in my opinion. Yeah. They discontinued this one like a few years ago. My way, just the original. I did like the flankers, but the original is just the best in my opinion. And then we have Zadik and Voltaire. This is her. This like nutty whipped cream, sandalwood. Then we have Victor and Rolf, Flower Bomb Dew. Nice, like fresh pear. And then in here, obviously, we have my Jean Paul Gaultier. We have La Belle Parfum, Scandal, A Paris, and then Scandal by Night. It's over there. Now, let's move on to this shelf. Okay. I'm gonna try not to fall. We have from um, Mugler, we have Angels. I'm not gonna move them just because some cannot stand. So. Yeah, I don't want anything to fall in here. I have basically the Ocrozier 2019, 2020, and then the Ice Star, okay? And then we, I have in here an Alien. This one is O Sublime, yeah. And this one is being discontinued as well. And then we have two good cheap perfumes. 
memoir dun dun i really like this one it's such a different scent it's not a safe blind but i really like this one and then another one i believe is discontinued absolute perfume such a beautiful fragrance honestly this like dark rose with berries mm, amazing we have Hugo Boss, the scent private accord, you already know, is like chocolate orange. Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso, again I've heard that this one is discontinued. And then I have my La Perlas, just the original. And then La Perla Divina Gold Edition, I spoke about this one. This is um, like strawberry and champagne. And then you have some amber. We have Givenchy. Anjou de Mont, uh, Le Secret, then we have, what's in here, Lanva, Garin Capri, it's literally just like fresh cut lemon, and then we have Lolita Land from Lolita Lempica, talked about this one a lot, and then we have Maitsuni Narici, um, Extas, this one is very similar to La Nuit Resort from Lancome, and then we have Lextas, Shandextas, actually. Shandextas, this one is like marine, but also like caramel. I really like it. And then the last shelf that we have in here, uh, basically in here I have more like celebrities. I have some designers, obviously you can see Chloe in here, but I have like celebrities, more like chippies and things like that. So, Moschino, I love love, please focus. Yeah very similar to light blue from Dolce & Gabbana Sofia Vergara Sofia by Sofia Vergara I really like this this perfume okay kind of like a cross between La Vie Belle and Coco Mademoiselle and then I have just like a chip in here Bizarre Dreams Casablanca Lesson to Gourmand in here if you're asking if you're wondering what's in here are just like all of my boxes yep because I keep boxes and then we have Brazilian Crush, Sol de Janeiro 71. You can you can sell that. I really wore this this fragrance. Next we have just like the small bottle of Coco Cabana. A Zara fragrance. Um Rich Warm Addictive. Honestly, why did this continue this? And it's marketed towards men, but it's like such a beautiful unisex unisex perfume, in my opinion. Then we have Cloud. Um, God is a woman, R.E.M. Obviously, in here we have Rihanna, Red Floor, Eilish from Billy Eilish, and then we have my two Chloe's. We have Nomad Eau de Toilette, and then we have Nomad Absolute. And this is it. This is everything that I have on these top shelves. Now, let's move on to the next one. Right, so in here, I keep, um, again, designers, more like designer private collections, and then maybe more like smaller indie um, houses or like affordable niche houses. So we are going to start with this side. I have in here lots of fragrances from my Issa. As you can see, I'm actually waiting for more, so that's why I have some empty spaces in here. Uh, I have Janet Sunset. Oud Bourbon, the Stade de Sange, mm, this one is such a good one, honestly. Chocolate and orange and vanilla, such a beautiful one. Then I have vanilla in here. And two more smaller bottles. Again, I'm waiting for like six, seven to arrive, but everything has been delayed. Magic moment. And then Johara in here, such a good orange blossom fragrance. Now. This I know is not necessarily niche, but it just goes well with everything. This is Drage from Reminisa. These are sugar almonds, literally just sugar almonds. Lalique, Soleil. The bottle is too beautiful. They're not really making clothes. I know they make like something with glass. So that's why it's in here. The bottle is too beautiful. Okay, to hide it. Then we have Mas Milano, Madeleine. Such an authentic, like roasted peanut smell and then we have just a small avant orange from Maison Martin this one is very similar to um, 
Zadik and Walter, this is her, and then, oh, we have this one, from Sniff, Sweet Ash, I actually really like this one, it has this Bakara Rouge vibe, but it's a bit aromatic, a bit smoky as well, I do really like that one. Now, let's move on, in here, in here we have my only Yves Saint Laurent, and that one is Caban, then we have my, I'm just gonna put that one there, um, Maison Marty Margiel, I used to have so many from the replica line, but now I have just by the fireplace and then I have Mutiny. Just look at this bottle. Absolutely love this bottle. Anyway, let's move on. Let's put you back. Here we have my two Tom Ford. Honestly, I bought every single fragrance that I want right now. Um, so probably next year, honestly, I, I don't want any more hauls. That's why I'm doing the perfume video, uh, the collection video, all of this. But I've heard that they're releasing a flanker of Lost Cherry. And so I might have to get that one. Okay. Don't judge me. Just Lost Cherry. And then we have um, Jasmine Rouge. Absolutely love it. It's such like a sexy dark jasmine. Mm, amazing. Then we have my Girla. Tonka. Imperial. And then Spiritus Double Vanille. And then Gourmand Coquine. I love this one. It's discontinued. Why do not ask me? Because I, I, I generally don't understand. In the back we have Izura. Another beautiful discontinued fragrance. Then we have in here La Petit Rome Noir, just the original. It's like cherry and licorice and I love it. And then the Intense, which I believe it's discontinued. This one has this like blueberry cotton candy but like very sophisticated not in a juvenile way and then obviously we have my Mongerla, which is the original and then my Mongerla intense now next shelf have quite a lot oh i completely forgot van cleave and apples what's wrong with me van cleave and apples we have bois doré which you know is my favorite santal blanc over there, what are you? Rose Rouge, Orchid Evany. Mm, this was my first love, honestly. My first um, well, like high end designer in California Reverie that I purchased. I was absolutely mad in love with that fragrance. Now, let's move on to, to this shelf. I have lots of perfumes from Lancome. So we have Hymnos, La Vie Belle Eclat Eau de Toilette, La Vie Belle Eclat. Eau du Parfum, La Vie Belle Intensement, and then Jasmine's Marzipan. I do believe they discontinued this one, and I do believe they discontinued Oud Bouquet as well. Why? I don't know. I generally don't know. And then obviously at the back I have um, La Nuit Trezor La Folie, La Nuit Trezor Intense, and La Nuit Trezor Nude. And then we have in here... Poison Girl, Eau du Parfum from Dior, and then the other one is the Eau du Toilette. Then from Dior we have, from the Privé line, Bala Sauvage, Gris Dior, such a beautiful rose. Honestly, it's like fresh but earthy at the same time. And then Vanilla Diorama, and then Ambre Nuit. And in here, the only Carolina Herrera, Gold Incense. Such a it's not necessarily that incense, to be honest. For me, it's more like vanilla and leather. It doesn't have leather, it has labdanum, but I'm definitely getting like this like leathery vibe with a bit of incense. I do really like it. Not a safe blind by though, but I do really like it. And then mm, these two are absolutely delicious. True Sardi, Passeggiata in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele Due. This one literally smells like tuberose dipped in Nutella, and then Limitless shopping in there. That one literally smells like um, a baked apple. Now, let's move on to this shelf. You can see that I have a lot. So, we have at the back all of my Theodoro Scalotinis. We have Vanilla, Jasmine's of Athens, and then what else I have? Coffee Addict. They actually released Velvet Chocolate. And yes, I placed an order. So I'm waiting for that one. Then we have from Meleg. This one is Golden Guy. Very cherry rose chocolate. But really amazing cherry fragrance. Rose and cherry. Mm. And then Slava Ukraine. 
my three Montal perfumes we have obviously Incense Cafe, everyone knows how this one smells like, Funny Absolute, and then Chocolate Greedy. Here we have Madeira from Omnia. Oops. Um, this is literally like one of the sweetest perfumes that I have in my collection. It's coconut and vanilla and caramel. It's a very, very sweet. And then we have Exidolo, Love and Crime. This is like Italica, not Italica. Lira from Zerzhov, but with chocolate. Then in the back, we have all of my Dimitzer perfumes. We have Devil's Food, which is like a cow perfume, pistachio ice cream, pistachio ice cream, lemon merengue, uh, vanilla ice cream. This one actually smells more like a waffle cone. And this one, one. Um, vanilla cake butter. Generally smells like vanilla cake butter. And then cupcake. And in here we have from Bon Parfumé. 501. This one it's similar to Lavia, but it has like a salted caramel vibe. And then 203. This one is like a raspberry scent. Miller Harris. Um, Scherzo. This one is like dark rose and some wood, but it's, it's such a beautiful scent. And then in here we have Comptoir Sud Pacific Vanille Coco. I absolutely love this one. It's Jenny vanilla and coconut, uh, vanilla apricot, and then amour du cacao. And then I have a new one. It's like an indie house that I found on Etsy. Creme de pistache. Listen, I can't wait to share this with you because it's very affordable as well. It's amazing. It's an amazing demand. And in here, from imaginary authors, we have... A whiff of a waffle cone, and then we have their newest one, In Love With Everything. Right, so that was everything in here. Now let's move on to the next shelf. Right, so from now on, we're going to have like proper, proper niche perfume houses. Let's start in here. We have my Argos perfumes. I have three in here. I'm actually waiting for another one to arrive. DHL is saying that's going to be arrived today, but DHL said that before, so I don't trust them. Um, we have this one, um, Adonis Awakens, absolutely stunning rose, rose fragrance. And then we have Pourfait, which is a beautiful feminine floral scent. And then this one, look at this bottle. I mean, just look at that. This one, it's um, Triumph of Bacchus. This is like tobacco. We like some apple and some um, patchouli, absolutely amazing. And I'm waiting for Bacio Immortale, which is this, like a leather with raspberry, such a unique fragrance. Then we have, obviously, Maison Mataha, Escape Gourmand. Everyone went crazy over this perfume. I actually do really like it, okay? It's like, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. You can see, you can tell that I have more space in here just because I'm waiting for a few more fragrances to arrive. Um, then we have Bon Parfumé, uh, Mon Boudoir, why am I saying Bon Parfumé? What's wrong with Mon Boudoir? Uh, Mon Boudoir from Hubigar. This one is like a classy amber scent. Then we have all of my Emika Leaf perfumes. We have Mon Parfum Cristal. This was the first Emika Leaf that I've purchased. Absolutely fell in love with this one. Watch, beautiful bubblegum tuberose. And then Note Vani, beautiful Pussy Vanilla, Ilang in Gold, an Ilang perfume. And then we have, which one is that one? This one is spiritual. This one is like kind of mixed between Herba Pura and Baccarat Rouge. Absolutely love it. Glamour. Is this one Glamour? Yeah, Glamour um, has a very similar vibe to the original, the OG Alien. Okay, not the one that's on the market right now. And then Soleil Passion. Yeah, this one is a fresh, sweet, fruity fragrance for the summertime. Now let's move on to the next. Obviously, as you can tell, I have all of my Navitus in here. We have some Stefan Humble Lucas, and then we have two perfumes from Uni Nomad. I have Jardins de Misfach and then Suma Oriental. From Stefan Humble Lucas, my favorite Sundance. 
Then we have Venom Incarnate, Crying of Evil, God of Fire, which like I really like it, but I was expecting like something more. I don't know. And then Soleil Jedi. Um, this is the Mango Kiss one. This is absolutely stunning. And then, like I said, all of my Naritos perfumes. So obviously we have my baby in here, Chocolate Queen. Okay, Sartorial New Year. Such a beautiful Tonka Bean fragrance. The key. Mm, unique, fresh. Um, like ginger, like uh, this, like this ginger, lemony, fresh perfume with some gin as well. I really like it. Siesta Drive, literally, this is my favorite freshie of all times. If I have to pick just one, it's gonna be Siesta Drive because it starts fresh, but it's getting gourmand. Okay, what else do we have? Imperial, we have in there like chocolate and leather. Exo Brandy, Boozy Dates, okay, Venom of Love, everyone knows how Venom of Love smells like, this is absolutely stunning in the winter, those like cherries covered in chocolate, absolutely delicious, absolute, no, well, I'm saying absolute all the time, uh, Divine Aphrodisiac, is literally peanut butter, and then we have the newest one, Ray Spirits, and obviously we have in here more serenade you can you can tell that i love this brand the embrace idola and then carte blanche we have in here right let's move on let's move on to this shelf um i'm a big fan of initio can you tell uh, so yeah we're gonna go through everything that's in here we have my one and only uh, perfume from Electimus. This one is Mercurial Cashmere. I do really like it. I just wish it wasn't that expensive. I feel like it's a bit overpriced. Just a little bit, you know. And then we have behind from Coquilette, we have Joal, which is like boozy chocolate fragrance. Cookie Crunch, literally smells like lemony cookies. And then Sulmona, which is like the sweetest, okay, the sweetest almond fragrance that you're going to find, like, ever. And then we have Rosia. Look at this beautiful bottle. Honestly, this is like the most stunning bottle. It's also the most expensive bottle in my entire collection. This one is $5.95. I know, I know, but... It's stunning. I actually received this one. They sent it to me. I said in a video I was planning to buy the 50 ml and they said that they're gonna send me um the 100 ml. So obviously I'm very grateful for that, but this is absolutely stunning. Um and next we have Reckless. This is the first Roja that I bought and has a similar vibe to Love Don't Be Shy, but it's just a bit more like I don't know, elevated, a bit more sophisticated, you know, not as sweet. Enigma. Again, Essence du Parfum, and then we have 51, which is this, like, beautiful, beautiful Ilang Ilang, like, powdery, sweet Ilang Ilang, absolutely love this one. And then Killian, Black Phantom, okay, Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme, I had the original, but it was just a bit too green, the tuberose in it was a bit too green. Then, obviously, because we talked about this one, Love Don't Be Shy. And in here, who? Yes, I have lots of initio. I have. It's hard because I'm going to go through them like this. So we have. What's that? Wood for happiness. And then, oops. Wood for greatness in there. These two don't have the name on the cap. And then we have. Can you actually see something? I don't think so. We have rehab. No, you can't see anything. Yeah, so basically it goes rehab, re rehab, sorry. Right, so we have rehab, paragon, uh, what are you? Atomic rose, side effect, mystic experience. Uh, no, that one is mystic experience. That one is high frequency. And then that one is um, absolute aphrodisiac. Oh, this was hard, okay. 
um, yeah, so these are all of my initial fragrances. And now, let's move on in here. We have from Richard Y Chocolat and then Cake Pops, literally Cake Box. Got me one day so many compliments. This is like chocolate cake with pineapple. Honestly, I sprayed this one and for the first like five minutes, everyone that was walking past me was just like, <laughs> what is that? Smells like a bakery, smells like chocolate, smells like a cupcake, smells delicious. Like, this is amazing. Then we have my Kealis, the newest one. With Kealis, I really like the fact that they're doing just this like 10 ml and they look exactly the same as the big bottle. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy to, just to have the 10 ml. Um, Vanilla Royale, sweet diamond pink, pink pepper, one of my favorites. Oh, this one is my favorite. Invite only, really, really like that one. Uh, just the original vanilla. Deja vu, really like this one. All the time I'm taking it, I'm taking this um this small bottle with me when I go on holiday. Then we have Love Fest. And then we have that's gonna be elixir. Yeah, this is like apple and patchouli, but it's, it's beautiful. I really like that one. And then we have my bond number nine. Um yeah, with bond, bond number nine. It's kind of funny because I said like two years ago that I will never buy anything from them because I hate their posters and now I bought four. So, Tribeca, probably my favorite. Yeah, it's going to be my favorite. Uh, Nomad, we have in there. Then we have New York Nights. This is amazing in the summer evenings, okay? And then we have New Bond Street. This one is this like chestnut with some coffee, but... I think it has some sandalwood as well. Amazing. And then we have EBK. Deep in Desire. This one literally smells like a uh, blueberry muffin. Then we have Ruby and Vanilla Neroli. And then at the back we have Ruby and Vanilla Oud. Just a small bottle. And then Ruby and Vanilla Intense. Here we go. Uh, and yeah, this is everything that I have in here. Now, let's move on. Right, now let's move on to these shelves. In here, you can see a brand new perfume house. But let's start with this side. Obviously, I'm a massive fan of BDK. This one is, is Rouge Smoking. Literally my favorite. Absolutely beautiful cherry fragrance. Such a unique one. Then we have... Passessoir, a sexy floral scent. Then we have in here Gris Chanel. This one is like sandalwood with cardamom, with fig. And then we have the extract, which is the same thing, just stronger and a bit more masculine. And the last one from BDK, I have Tuberose Imperial, which is going to be like a sweet, sweet Tuberose. Let me just put this one back. And we have at the back something new that I need to oh I need to feature in a video. Wicked good. It's a beautiful chocolate, okay? Very different than chocolate queen, but it's, it's like it's a beautiful chocolate. I'm not gonna say bad things about other chocolate fragrances when I really like them, okay? Just because I released a chocolate perfume. Mine obviously for me is the best, but I do really like other ones. Um Dulce Sinfundo, Profumum Roma. This one is sugar and citruses. Or dwell or the toilette from diptyque this one is like this vanilla a bit uh, aromatic a bit green as well um or dwell or du parfum really like their bottles okay this one is just like darker sexier and then tamdao or du parfum again this one is this like sandalwood aromatic and then you have a bit of incense as well and at the back we have je ne sais quoi from Theo Cabadel, such a unique fragrance, guys. This one literally smells like um, a rice pudding with matcha tea. And then I have from them Olala, oh and then we have from uh, Primera de Aroma. This one is such a beautiful patchouli fragrance. Honestly, I don't like patchouli, but that one is just amazing. Essential Parfum Magnetic Rose. This is like fresh fruity rose. Cacao Porcelana, this one is like Jasmine, 
and very boozy chocolate. At the back we have again uh, Umbo Vanille from Serge Lutin. This is like beachy bakery vanilla. Accidental Vanille, listen. This is the best vanilla perfume ever. Yes, I do have a billion vanilla perfumes. This one, in my opinion, is just the best. It's such a delicious gourmand. It's very sweet, but not overly sweet. I absolutely love and adore this perfume. And then we have in here three fragrances from Soradora. The first one is Orchidée Rouge. The next one is Bronze Liand. Okay. And then the last one, and my favorite one, it's Mandol. This one is Almond and Suede. It's dark. It's sexy. It's beast mode. I absolutely love that fragrance. Now, let's move on to this shelf. We have, obviously, Mezzo Francis Courdijan. We have in here Grand Soir. Such an easy, beautiful amber scent. Baccarat Rouge. Everyone knows how Baccarat Rouge smells like. And then Gentle Fluidy Gold. And then we have my Penhaligans. I have Equinox Bloom. This one is actually discontinued. I have a backup bottle. It's like frangipani tea. Like stunning. Absolutely stunning fragrance. Uh, Flora is like a citrusy perfume. They had a promo. I got this one for free. Um, so yeah, it's nice. It's nothing wow. This one is something wow. Especially, look at the bottle. I absolutely love the bottle. Um, the word according to Arthur. This one is like, it's like powdery caramel with some incense. Beautiful. And then changing constants. It's like spicy caramel. I love this one so much. And then in here we have my Zerzhov. Symphonium. Um, a very beautiful chocolate orange. Okay, but extremely, extremely pricey. Um, there are the chocolates that smell as beautiful as this one, maybe even better, and they're not that expensive. La Capitale in here. And then we have Cruz del Sur 2. This one is like a mango milkshake. You need to like milky notes. Then we have from the Casa Morati line, Bouquet Idil. In here we have Dolce Amalfi, which feels like a spicy bubblegum. And then Dama Bianca, which is this like powdery vanilla with a strong kumquat note. So it's fruity in the same time, but like very powdery. And then obviously Italica, one of the best almond perfumes in my opinion. Absolutely love it. And then we have Lira, which for me is like um, a lemony orangey cheesecake. Now let's move on. In here, as you can see, I have um, a brand new fragrance house that is called Viva Amor. I've got all of their perfumes. I'm going to go through um, each of them in a special video. I'm going to like talk about them, tell you exactly which ones are my favorites, which ones I don't really like. They're good. I have 11. Obviously, they just released um, this new brand and they released 11 fragrances. I have all of them in here. Some are going to go to my boyfriend because they're a bit too masculine for me. But I have in here like six, maybe seven that I'm like obsessed, like absolutely obsessed. We have Addiction Absolute, Creme Exquisite, uh, Dark Indulge, Cherry Privé, Aura Celeste, beautiful, freshy. I really like that one. Ultimate Aphrodisiac, listen. We need to talk about this one, okay? Stay tuned for that video because this, this is something else. Wait, that's something else. Um, Reserve exclu uh, Exclusive, again. Wow, 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 what an amazing unix unisex gourmand. Tobacco Supreme. Probably the most realistic tobacco fragrance that I have. And then Rouge Imperial, Urban, and then we have in here a Koya. So these are all from Viva More. Like I said, I'm gonna um, do next week 
a dedicated video and we're gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna tell you which ones are my favorite. Now, let's move on. We have in here from Milano Fragrance Panettone. Listen, this perfume was on my list, uh, wish list for the past one year, maybe more than that, but I was just afraid. I thought it's not gonna be gourmand enough. It's amazing. It's delicious. It literally smells like a panettone. I'm gonna do a whole video, obviously, and I'm gonna feature this one. Stay tuned because this is absolutely stunning. Then an amazing fragrance in an amazing bottle. Uniquely luxury, so scientific. Absolutely love this one. Um, this like floral, airy, super sophisticated scent. Love it. And then I have from Simone Andreoli. This one is Leisure in Paradise. What else do I have? Malibu party in the bay you have to know if like maybe not right now because it's freezing cold outside but for the summertime you need to discover Simone Andreoli Samplosion and then the last one I think is Pacific Park yes Pacific Park in here honestly guys you need to discover this brand because yes it's niche but it's affordable and I bought all of them because I absolutely love them and now the last shelf in here we have L'Orchestre Parfum Rose Trombone, such a beautiful rose fragrance. And then my favorite sandalwood of all times, Piano Santal. This one, it's sandalwood and milk and it's just amazing. Nasomato Narcotic V, such a beautiful uh, white floral scent. Then we have... Um, Anik 5 from Eight and Bob. Okay, then we've got oh let's put this one in here. Fragrance Dubois, Eau de Jeune Intense, such a, a luxurious um, fruity scent for the summertime, like whoa. And then Santal Complete, another beautiful sandalwood, and then this one. This is the discover of the year, okay? Wunder, listen. This smells like almond milk and lychee. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. And then, the House of Oud. Look at this bottle. I mean, just look at this bottle. Uh, Days Delights, like spicy, sweet dates. Room 1015. Uh, 1015. Uh, this one is like a dark, dark, sexy sandalwood. And then my favorite one... Cherry punk, listen, this cherry is something else. It's like sweet and a bit boozy and has a leather note. It's so, so sexy. It's it's amazing. And then flamenco from uh, Ramon Monegal. Beautiful, fruity, floral scent. Amazing for spring and summer. And then in here we have my Nishane. We have Neff's which is this like dark rose oud um, fragrance. Not to say blind buy, quite, quite pricey, but it's amazing. And then we have uh, Zene, which is has a similar vibe to the Ramon Monegal, um, but it, it's like very beautiful. Again, like fruity, rosy scent. And then we have from Ormon Jane, we have Damask, we have Levant, we have... Danger, which is definitely my favorite, an amazing white floral perfume, a bit fruity as well. And then we have Byzance, another amazing fragrance that it's actually very like soft and cozy, and yeah, it's just beautiful. And yeah, everything uh, that was everything that I have in here. Now we are gonna move on to the last shelf. All right, so I've got in here at the back. Bon Talenti from uh, Profumo di Firenze. This is such a beautiful, milky, creamy, fruity scent for the summertime. Absolutely amazing. And then we have from Pantheon Roma, Trastevere. This is like super, 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 super sweet caramel scent. And then Dolce Passione, which is like chocolate and strawberry. And then in here we have Miral. From Martin Martin, um, beautiful like white floral body lotion type of scent, and then between two trees from Floraiku, absolutely love this one. Is this like aromatic, 
scent it has some matte in it i love it it's not a safe blind buy but if you like aromatic scents and like calming scents you're gonna absolutely love this one um in here memo paris winter palace this one is like red tea with some um lemon but it's sweet in the same time but you're still you it's fresh from the lemon but it still has a sweetness granada an amazing like super sweet um very natural smelling orange blossom and then tamarindo which is again it's an amazing fragrance from memo paris that one is more like a pineapple scent then at the back we have mula mula you know you just know how much i love this thing and then we have in the new bottle the chronic and then obviously in here from Atar collection i have cult at night which is like similar to angel share um it has more like a cherry note it has more like um a cinnamon apple note it's not as boozy as angel share i, I do really like angel share, angel share as well but kind of prefer this one and then the last one it's crystal love which is like a nice vanilla with some cacao now let's move on in here we have from gritty duquesa you can see i have just like fingerprints all over and i absolutely hate this cup like it already felt this cup won't stay I absolutely hate it let me just put it here it's a very beautiful cherry fragrance but listen that cap is absolutely driving me insane so for the price i expect it a bit better um pierre guillaume sucre de ben it's like sugary sandalwood and then Aun madon vanilla and sandalwood la danza delle libellule from no uh, nobile 1942 this one is an apple pie like mcdonald's apple pie super super sweet and just amazing especially for the price uh vanilla tahiti from paris monte carlo my favorite one of my favorite vanilla tis, vanillas is such such a sexy vanilla scent and then we have ambre platine from lorga very very peppery okay in the opening but then the dry down is like gourmand amber scent and then obviously in here we have all of my um, Ex Nihilo. We have the one that's exclusive to Harrods Brompton Immortals. And then I like how Harrods all the time is doing the like green. They're doing something. Like you can tell it's an exclusive. Because the next one, this one, um, Vendomania is an exclusive to Selfridges. But literally it doesn't say anywhere like... I don't know. I like the little details, you know. I like the green on the cap. And then we have Amber Sky, one of the best amber fragrances. Uh, Venom Kiss. And then Flor Narcotique, which is like a beautiful, super elegant, fun, flirty floral scent. And then my absolute favorite from the house, Explicit. Listen, this one is sexy, okay? It's a floral scent. It's a peony scent, but it has like... It has this ex nihilo DNA and it's just, it's so sexy. Absolutely love this one. Now, let's move on to the next shelf. Okay, two more. We have in here, obviously, Delina, just the original, Delina exclusive, and then we have Oriana. At the back, we have Blanche Bet which i'm still not sure okay i'm still not in love with this fragrance then we have gabriela chiefo latte d'oro this one is like it smells literally like a chai latte a spicy chai latte absolutely love it my love bodacious from bodicea the best almond and cherry fragrance in the world okay and then we have from Amouage, Love Tuberose. This one literally smells like whipped cream and tuberose. And then we have Blossom Love. Then in here, Tomavici. 
um empyrean this one i'm gonna feature in a haul i really really like this one this rose fragrance but it has a strawberry note mm, it's it's very very good then we have mise en cire for your love and then goldfield and banks sunset hour and then the last one is silky woods silky woods and now Let's finally move on to the last shelf. Okay, we have in here, as you can see, my Tiziana Terenzi. We have some Carner Barcelona, and then we have one Quinto Canto, which is like the sister company of Tiziana Terenzi. So it's going to be the same thing. Strignina, listen, Strignina is such a beautiful, again, like fruity scent, but this one feels like a raspberry ice cream. And then we have Tabit. That has like a sun note and has some amber. It's like fruity, but it's more than that. Cassiopeia has like same DNA. This one it's a bit more um I don't know, like shampoo-y, like it has a body lotion vibe. And then we have Draco, which is gonna be fresher. It has lots of citruses, and then my favorite Leo which has a kumqua note and again it's like so 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 creamy literally smells like kumquat and cream it's, it's delicious it's amazing then we have at the back kirke everyone knows how kirke smells like we have al contrario which is this beautiful like for me it smells like bread and then cappuccino foam this is what i'm getting and then the last ones we have from uh, Cardinal Barcelona Super Moon, which is just like a very nice fruity scent. Um, Lucomor, I really, really like this one. It's, it's like fresh aromatic scent. Tardes, like a balsamic almondy scent. And then the last one, and my favorite one from Cardinal Barcelona, we have Palo Santo. Such a stunning fragrance is almond is not featured but i'm definitely getting some some sandalwood with some um almond in this it's amazing i love it and yeah this is my entire perfume collection and yeah guys that was it that was my entire perfume collection like i said i have a few more that i'm waiting for Honestly, I don't know exactly when they're gonna arrive and I really wanted to film this video um, So here you have it all of my perfumes. Uh, let me know obviously in the comments down below If you like my collection if you think it's too much Honestly, I told you I got I bought every single fragrance that I wanted and I'm not planning on buying anything else besides besides if that one has a flanker if lost cherry is gonna have a flanker i need to have it but besides that i don't want anything else um yeah that was it let me know in the comments down below what do you think about my collection uh if you tested any of these if you like them um please don't give me other more recommendations because as you can see i literally have no space i have some space in here but like i said i'm waiting for more perfumes to come and yeah that was it i'm gonna see you guys in my next video Bye bye